Blink-182, What's My Age Again? Probably the uh, pinnacle of 90s uh, pop punk. Um, we all know this song, we heard it. Uh, TRL for days and days and days, if you go back that far. But anyway, uh, yeah, pretty basic uh, pop punk style song. Um, there's some fun, uh, you know, like arpeggiating, picking going on. That'll uh, take a little uh, practice and is, you know, pretty sweet once you get the hang of it. And then, of course, it'll just break into, you know, straight up power chords for like the chorus and then some uh, kind of chugging power chords during uh, a couple verses and a weird little uh, interlude for you. So uh, to start, we'll just jump right into that um, intro arpeggio picking thing, you know, kind of the iconic part of the song, I would say. And uh, this here, it's going to start with a uh, 9 on the D, and then throughout all of this, we're going to be hitting 11 on the G, 11 on the B, and then back to 11 on the, on the G. Okay, and basically we're just going to be changing bass notes while we're picking those. Okay, so it'll start with the 9 on the D. Okay, then 11, 11 on the G and B. Alright, and then we jump to our next bass note, which is just up a string. So 9 on the A. Okay, back to those 11, 11, 11s. And then next bass note, 9 on the E. And to the 11s. And then here you kind of have to shift a little bit. I like to just bring my middle finger up and over while I'm keeping, you know, the ring on those 11s. And just bring the ring or middle finger up over to the 11 on the E. And then hit those high 11s again. And then it would just start all over. All right. and then you just keep working on that until you can get it up to speed. chorus comes in and like I said it's just gonna break into some power chords and uh, it's gonna start with the uh, second fret here on the E for the F sharp power chord okay so then you know four and four on the A and the D right. we're just gonna hit that once and then we're gonna come up to four on the A six and six on the D and G so we get the C sharp power chord that twice. Okay. All right, and then we come up two frets from that, so sixth fret and D sharp power chord. Hit that twice. And then we slide that all the way down to the second fret on the A for the B power chord, and we just hit that about five times. That loops about three times. Okay. And then uh, once that chorus comes to its last uh, last line there, it's going to kind of start the same way with the F, up to the 4 C-sharp chord. And then once we come up to that 6 for the D-sharp power chord, we're just going to strum on that for a measure. And then slide it back down to 4, strum on that for a measure. all together. All right, and now for
for the second verse, uh, there's kind of a new guitar part that comes in where it's uh, basically just doing power chords with some palm muting. So, you know, just lightly on the bridge, touch your palm. So it kind of deadens it a little bit. Okay. And uh, basically this is just going to be going uh, jumping around power chords. Uh, it's going to start here on the second fret of the A, four on the D for the B power chord. And uh, we're just going to, you know, chug that four times. And then come up a set of strings to the second on the E for the F sharp power chord. Do that three times. And then just hit a quick open. up to the fourth on the A for the C sharp and we're going to do that four times All right. and then bring it up to the sixth fret hit that three times and then just come down to the first fret and just hit that real quick we're going to hit that just before we slide back into that B and loop the whole thing over again Okay. So I'll try that slowly here. similar to how the chorus did uh, when after we do that about three times we're gonna just do a measures worth of the C sharp so fourth fret down to B so second fret all right and now uh, there's an interlude section here it gets a little more involved uh, kind of similar to what we were doing with the uh, picking and for the intro similar notes but uh it's a little kind of loose kind of light you know uh, it's going to start with uh kind of a funky little chord here where it's uh sixth fret on the a nine on the d so just kind of a weird little dissonant chord and uh we're going to go from that and then we're going to hit the 11s so you kind of need to stretch a little bit so there we go and we go 11 on the b 11 on the g It's just kind of light, you know. And then we just hit the 11, 11 again. And then we give, uh, let's see, a 9 on the D. And then 11, 11. And then just 11, 11 again. Okay. So it's just kind of just some light accenting on those 11 notes. From the intro. Right. And then it moves into something a little more riffy here. Uh, this is going to be nine on the D, and we're going to hit. Uh, sorry, it's nine on the A. Okay, and we're going to hit three of those real quick, and then we're going to go eight. To, n to nine hammer on on the D. Okay, and we're just going to repeat that four times. Okay, get it up to speed. Okay, and now we're going to kind of pick through a little formation here. Uh, about five times. <clears throat> it's going to be nine on the A, eight on the D, and then eleven on the G. Okay. And basically, we're just going to be picking through those three notes pretty fast. It's going to be nine to the eight, back to the nine, and then we hit that eleven. And then two nines up top, 
to the 8, back to the 9. And you just got to pick through it pretty, pretty quick, pretty consistently. just jumps right back into the chorus and uh, you're all set for the rest of the song uh, so once again that's what's my age again by blink 182 pop punk extravaganza uh, I'd love a subscription from you that'd be awesome help me out a lot uh, watch this a ton learn learn all you can uh, leave comments all that good stuff all right I'll see you next time